Okay, so let's try uh, another mechanism here, or uh, learn another mechanism. Uh, so if we have a primary alcohol, like uh, butanol here, and we react it with thionyl chloride, that's this SOCl2 business, okay, thionyl chloride. You're going to substitute the OH group for a CL, okay? So this reaction, when you react it with a primary alcohol, is going to do that SN2 reaction as the last step again. Okay. So let's go over the mechanism. This ether here, that's just the solvent. We don't have to worry about it. Okay. Has everybody got this written down? Can I? So thionyl chloride, I don't think uh, you've seen already, but you should be able to uh, try to draw the structure and have a pretty reasonably good guess at it. I'm going to draw it like this, even though if I post this on YouTube, which I will, People will be like, uh-huh, there's not really a double bond in between that sulfur and it. But it's easier for you to think about it. I'll still post this, don't worry. I ain't afraid of the haters. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to explicitly show those electrons on my oxygen there. So, just to go back to what I was saying, uh, usually when you have the sulfur oxygen double bonds, the better. resonance form is that. Okay. But it's easier to see the mechanism doing it this way. And it's hard hard for introductory organic students to deal with that permanent dipole. Okay, so the first step is that the nucleophile here is going to react with the electrophile. The nucleophile being the alcohol, the electrophile being the thionyl chloride. Okay. Specifically going to react um, at the sulfur of the thionyl chloride. Okay. So what we're going to do is take those uh, oxygen electrons, attack the sulfur, and make that double bond electrons go up to the oxygen, kind of like what it looks like in that other resonance. Okay, so I want you to try to draw that on your own while I'm drawing it up here. And tell me, did you get it right? Is that what you drew from what I said or would have drawn? Did you get it? No? Yes? Some yes. people? Some people? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Now draw the product. what you would have drawn. Remember, just do what your arrows are showing and you'll get it right every time. The next thing is we got to get one of these chlorines off. Okay? So I'm going to erase this. Because that one of these chlorines is going to come back and do that SN2 reaction at the end. So what we're going to do is take these electrons 
make that double bond again, and that's going to kick off the chlorine as a leaving group. Like that. put the chlorine up there up at the top because it's going to I want to show that backside attack questions on anything so far does it make sense sense. Okay, so now here's the SN2 part. Okay, so the chlorine is going to come and attack from the back side of this big leaving group. Is everybody okay with that? And then we're going to actually make um, a couple of other little pieces here. So the leaving group just doesn't leave like that. That's what I guess I'm trying to say. We're going to make that double bond there in between the sulfur and oxygen. And doing that is going to kick off the last chlorine. Now the important part of our reaction is done. We've made the alkyl chloride like what we were looking for. I'm going to draw it like that just to emphasize that it came from the other side. We've also made protonated sulfur dioxide. Okay. Hopefully you wrote that from this. Okay. And then the Cl minus as well. And you, you can think of this Cl minus as deprotonating that uh, hydrogen there. Okay, and that's like the last step. Even though we already got the molecule we were looking for. So when we do that, we get SO2. Hopefully I'm not off the video. Range. Am I? Just a little bit. All I've seen is your hand. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, as long as the board is, yeah, that's all that matters. Okay, good. Here, we could do this. Like I say, this is the part we were really looking for. <coughs> Questions on this mechanism? Thionyl chloride reacting with the primary alcohol. No 
Okay.